It's your home. Oh shit. It's your home. Hey, but what? Hey, what are you here for? Oh, Showtime Leap dropped a freestyle. That bit was hard. Mm. All right, man, let's go ahead and do this. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, bro, stop bringing these Bluetooth bullshits. You need regular headphones, nigga. I got thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. I spent my good money on that. Thirty dollars. A hundred and who knows? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars get you some AKGs. You hear me? Thirty dollars. You you want to put them? You can keep them on. Since ain't nobody else got headphones, but I need a headphone. I spent. I don't know what. But I need a headphone, double A. Jalen got his headphones. Hey, Jalen. Yeah. This shit, man. Preparation. I got my cord. Yeah, I just got to buy new headphones. I think that's what you need to do. I got my cord. Oh, you got your cord? You plug that joint into the front. Just so them joints don't even work with the cord. And they still need to be. So the cord don't charge. And that's and how much you spent? They got a cord that do that? I don't know. <laughs> you spent what? Say it a little louder. Say it a little louder so everybody can hear you. $240. God damn. Hey, man. We're going to start it off on that one, man. Welcome to Count Dead Podcast. It's your neighborhood middleman, Slim Key. I'm here with my boy, Devin HB, Mr. $240 on the Beast headphones. I'm here with the judge, Jay Leno. Go ahead, get it out. Yes, sir. We got B3 behind the camera. We got Double A on the soundboard tonight. How y'all fellas doing? Shoot. Yeah, we back to start the week off strong. Monday, Monday, Monday. You know, I love Mondays, man. Mondays always feel good. I feel like we get to Thursdays and I be ready to get the week over. Sluggish. Yeah, but Mondays always feel good. A lot happened over, weekend, uh, over the weekend. As we were saying, we lost DMX. RIP to him. Condolences to his family. That's crazy, man. Rest in peace, big dog. Why he, he, he only like 50? I heard what happened, right? Oh. Oh. Yeah. He got a corona shot? He said he w- he didn't take any drugs, but apparently he OD'd, and the last shot he had took him, or the last drug that was put in his body was that, vir- that vaccine. I did. Like, I, I heard some people say it was three days after he died, two days, and then I heard some people say oh, two weeks. Man, I, I need, I I need I to see this. But I do know they did say he did get the vaccine. I, I need it. That's thing that occurred oddly because he didn't relapse on drugs. Or I, well, you know what's crazy? I, I actually, because I was on Twitter and I was like, damn, bro, what what happened? I was like, he relapsed? Like, like what's, like what happened? And then people was just like, you know, fighting drugs are lifelong addiction. And don't get me wrong. Yeah, but some, some I'm not going to say most times, but. Some people that actually be doing good, they actually be doing good. You feel me? Like his family they, members were the ones that said he was clean. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Some people actually beat yeah. like the addiction. And, I did see a lot of people on Twitter as well because I went on Twitter too just to check to see what, what was like trending. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. So when I checked, and it was like a whole people saying like, "Damn, that's sad that he relapsed and this and that." And then when I went on Facebook, I seen somebody say like his family members last quoted or something like that, like saying he didn't take any drugs and the last thing he had was the vaccine. Mm. I gotta look that up. I got. I got. I, I, I'm gonna say that one for the end of the show. We could do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying this. this fact. I don't know. I just tell you what I seen. Hey, let, let's start doing that stuff. We gotta say for the end of the show. We'll just, I mean, stuff we gotta look up. We'll say for the end of the show. B three, put it on the board. Oh yeah, man. That's bro, we yeah, should get a whiteboard in this joint. That'd oh, be hard. Yeah, Sersky. Then with the editing joint. Put some shit up there for the views and shit on the video. Yeah. Mm, I'm not, we could do like a little ESPN joint on the side and have like the little topics. Yeah, it's thirsty. Huh. No, no, I like the whiteboard. I like the whiteboard. I 
But that's what the edit is. Uh, okay, well, yeah. But white boy is not off. For, the white boy would be for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Mm. And then he would put like the editing joint over the white boy. Mm. That's how hard. Um, what else happened this weekend? That nigga Usher. Usher. <laughs> oh, the classic thing because he's from Atlanta, so he probably been plotting this all his life. Just imagine you were up in a city full of strippers. You like, these hoes, shit, they just want your money. And then you figure out a plan. Like, oh, gotcha. I mean, he had the twenty fake twenties, fake one dollars, and fake hundreds. Hey, br- bro, it's, it's wild, but I'm gonna play devil's advocate for Usher. He, he forgot. <laughs> I forgot I had this fake money on. Me. I forgot, and I ain't look at it. You feel me? I was in this joint throwing it. I forgot I had the fake money. My bad. <laughs> my bad. I had look. I had some money in my pocket. I forgot I had it. You feel me? I went in the strip club, try to pay some tuitions, and so just to play it and say I. Say I was a stripper. I'm not, I said. I'm just, I'm just saying, I said. I, said, I, said, I, said I don't want to be a stripper, there, nigga. Saying, from the perspective of a stripper, are you paying her? What? Like, actually, so you made the mistake. She mad. Are you still gonna pay her? You gonna come back and say, "Oh, my fault." Yeah, yeah. You got paid. You gotta come spend her with me. That's all the thing. They didn't get. They got paid. Usher did. Yeah. You gotta come spend that. Usher dollars. They hold no trade value. She said. Yeah, come spend. Yeah, hey, that sound like. It sound, it sound like he got a plan, a master plan. That's what I'm saying. He's been planning this for a while. He live in this city. You hoes can come knock at my door, get the money back to me, and y'all can become buy something out of the Usher store. Go missing. With them Usher bucks. Them UBs. Go missing. Usher is. Usher is. The Usher, bu- the Usher bucks not leading to missing people. Cases. John, turn that nigga into R. Kelly. Hey, I'm just saying. It's great scene. Usher ain't kidnapping nobody, man. Usher ain't kidnapping. <laughs> That's crazy. I should come out kidnapping people, bro. I don't know what's happening, bro. The world, the world, crazy, crazy. Hold on, let me I mean, R. Kelly always been weird though. Usher ain't. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know nothing about Usher dating, dating little girls. I guess proof our kid our Kelly was messing with little girls. Usher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Exactly. <laughs> That's what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this what? Usher? Yes, sir. Since when? Since when? I don't know. I've been hearing it for the past two, three years. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't heard. Yeah, that. I don't know about that. I don't know. Look, I don't have no knowledge of that. Um, shit. What else happened? Hold on. Give me a second. Let me see. A bunch of shit happened over the weekend. There's all sorts of stuff going on. All sorts of stuff. Soulja Boy came out with a gaming console, a new one. Yeah, like it looked like a Game Boy Advance. That don't play Netflix. I don't know. Nah, I, don't, I don't like that though, bro. You feel me? I mean, maybe like the less fortunate kids can get that jump, and you feel me? That jump be more like cheaper for them and shit. But other than that, bro, that jump. It's not making a big impact. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, that's 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 why I do fuck with it. You feel me? It's for the hood kids. You feel me? It ain't. But other than that, it ain't like nothing too crazy. I don't want to hear Soldier Boy saying like he was the first rapper with like a game system. Do do we um? We already talked about the top twenty five list, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We already talked about that. We already talked about that. All right, <clears throat> All right let's let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see. Let's see. Puff Daddy was caught with 50 Cent old thing. Baby mama. Yeah, 50 Cent baby mama was spotted out with P. Diddy. How y'all feel about that? 50 Cent said, me and Puffy fight over business shit. If he liked the girl, 
He liked the girl. He don't give a fuck. Me? Puff Daddy, man. What the fuck? That nigga's a weirdo. Bro, weird, bro. Why you want to mess with my old John? Just, just to do it, bro. Like, you ain't... He, weird, bro. That shit crazy, bro. I, I ain't on... Now, now, this a nigga I done heard wild stories about. I ain't, I ain't heard nothing about Usher, but this a nigga I done heard crazy stories about. So, yeah, that... And, bro, looking at the picture, bro, he got these weed socks on. I was like, bro, this nigga, like, 50. Bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck he doing with the weed? <laughs> nigga still trying Shit. to stay in. Nigga childish as a bitch. <laughs> this nigga a big-ass kid. I was like, look at that shit. One nigga's, like, somewhere look. around... I be like, oh, them gyms hard. Hey, bro, <laughs> bro, 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 do you, hey, bro, but these hoes, bro, they don't care. We already know that, man. <laughs> we already know that, bro. They don't care. Yeah, yeah, bro, that's bro. crazy. Who, who is this, John? Who is 50 Cent? Uh, oh, baby. Leechy. Wait, no, 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 no. Who is this, John? Who is 50 Cent? Baby, mama. This, John, John is kind of bad. <laughs> That's John. He got the light skin baby with the light skin baby with. Yeah, he got his socks, man. This nigga like a fool. Then got your socks on. They got your socks on. Thirty mil. What y'all talking about? Hey, Dev, this is something you might like, bro. Uh, Jake Paul's knockout of Nate Robinson is being sold as a yeah, NFT that's for ten million. Cool, what you mean that's cool? That fight was five hundred dollars. Oh, Remember, they only got paid five hundred. That's crazy that that joint being sold as an NFT for ten million. It's the original copy. That's crazy though. I mean, them niggas only got paid five hundred dollars for that just fight. Think about it like this. But that fight is worth ten million. Just think about it like this, bro. Nate Robinson and Jay Paul. He thinking, about, but think about it like this: if their fight is going for ten million, imagine what any of Mayweather fights probably go for on NFT. Mm. Hundreds of million. No, I'm bro, Dev, bro. You be looking at the perspective so crazy. I won't saying that. I was just saying it's just crazy how like. No, I understand that. I was just saying. Bro. I already know everything crazy going for like everything right now is going for crazy on NFT. Mm. Like for like millions. So that's why I'm not like. You feel me? It ain't like half a million. Half, half a hundred. Bro, that's on free on YouTube. With the fight? Yeah. I mean, not the full fight, but you. I mean, they won't. They want a full fight to see. <laughs> it won't. Just a knockout clip. Huh? Is it like just a knockout clip, or is it the full fight? Uh, it said not nah, a knockout of Nate Robinson. So is it a picture? No, nah, no, nah, it's a, a video. I guess it's a video. Just a knockout. I mean, it just said just said the knockout. So I'm guessing it's just a knockout what happened. It's probably like a 10 second clip. But a knockout won't even that good, bro. It'd be so over 10 mil. Fight was terrible. Nah, yeah. but I'm definitely it is not like a white. Job. You know, somebody white gonna pay that much. It's off the race. All right, man. Let's go ahead and hop to the Celtics real quick. Are they no pulling through? Are they finally looking like the Celtics we know they look like? No, you don't believe in it. The East too strong. I ain't been watching them either, but they they didn't pulled off the last couple games. They didn't came back on the Denver. Jason Tatum, he Jaylen he Brown dropped fifty three and 10, 10 boards on the Wolves and OT. You said what? <laughs> you know what? That was that was a poor game. I don't know what was going on with Denver. Oh, <laughs> I like Aaron Gordon though. Who you talking about? He, he did what? He was 300 pounds at 17 years old. Oh, I'm weak. Oh. So, y'all, you don't believe in the Celtics? I mean, I don't think they're going to win no ring or no, no title. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. 
Hmm? They make it to the playoffs. They're not making it out the first round. That's how I'm oh, I gotta see the standings real quick. That's how I'm feeling. I got. I mean, I just gotta see who who they. Regardless of the standings. Oh, regardless the standings. That's not much to decide about regardless. I mean, but you know, I'm gonna tell you who in the playoffs now. They could get matched up against the Hawks, who ain't got Rondo no more, so he ain't really so playoff experience. Hawks, playoff experience trash. Okay. You got the Hawks beating the Celtics in seven games, bro. Seven, seven. I don't. Hawks in six. Nah. Not the Hawks. Mm. Hawks in six. I don't got the What Hawks the fuck? <laughs> he said Hawks in six. That's you got the Celtics winning two games. You tweaking. Nah, you tweaking. Jalen Brown. J- Jason Tatum. What? Kimber Walker. Don't have faith in him. You going with the look the smaller guy. You going with Trey Young. That boy is a bucket. Um, who else who else played for the Hawks? Capella just got banged up. You didn't get yammed on. That bitch is crazy. Can we, uh, can we both get right? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. All right, all right, all right. So I'm, 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 we're going to go ahead just, the Hawks, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. The Hornets? You think the Hornets will beat this? I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. No LaMelo? Hornets and seven, them boys play. They that play experience hard. means something, man. They play hard. Hornets and seven. That experience right. means something. The Celtics. Yeah. They went to the Eastern Conference without Kyrie. Yeah. What they do with Kyrie? I'm, I'm put it like this. That's, that was that was part of their problem. <laughs> Jason Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown. Those are two. I'm gonna say. Two top ten players in the East. I don't got them. They gonna be fine in the first round. They not. They not going out in the first. That's crazy though. That's crazy that you think that. What's, what's she need? They seven right now. Oh yeah, if they play y'all though. If they play us off Philly. I mean, I I ain't. No, nah, in the first round. Be. In the first round, yeah, y'all gonna be straight. Y'all going to the not first round. Talking about us. We, we talking about them. Yeah, yeah, I'll be straight. If they stay the seven seed, I don't got them staying the seven seed though. They don't want seven out of their last ten games. They looking pretty solid. All right. Who that? Yeah, that's right. All right. And they looking pretty solid. Yo, Yo. come on in. Come on, join us. Come on, come on. Come on, man. Have a seat right here between me and Dev. Come on, get comfortable. How you doing? I'm good. You feeling good? That's good, man. You smell good. Thank you. you took a shower before you came here. No. Oh, I, I, you wildin'. I'm gonna take a shower before you came here. I'm fucking with you. All right, man. Now we got a special guest joining us tonight. Everybody, give it up for K Dot. Oh, yeah. Hit them buttons. buttons. Yeah, yeah. You can't hear. They, they hear it fine. Um, shit, man. What you, what, you, what y'all want to get into? What y'all want to? Uh, anybody got anything specific first? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, shit, it been a minute since you've been on the scene. Um, a long, a, a minute, minute, maybe. And then it's partly because of COVID, and then partly because of, like, because of definitely because of COVID. That's the only reason. For real? Oh, all right. Well, well shit, well, now. 70, 70, 70, 30. 70, 30. I was like, man, you can keep it a stack now. You can keep it a stack. All right, 70, 30. Um, and so what was the other 30? Also throwing shows, we was the only two throwing shows, and every time he threw one, um, when they allowed us to throw shows again, motherfuckers got shot, stabbed, beat up, they trashed the venues, so the venues weren't allowed. I know hip hop shows in Virginia right now, unless it's like celebrity, like celebrity fast type of shit. Oh, hip hop shows is a dub right now for everybody. As far as like all the local cities. He fucked it up for Richmond, all the Henricos, Petersburg. Shit, we went out to Colonial Heights, Chester, all that shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean that for real. That that always been like the the type of climate we done lived in. Like niggas always had a hard time performing and getting venues and booking mm-hmm. venues just because uh, they know what type of crowd coming and they know what type of what they know. They just know where we come from and that ain't what they want inside their establishments. And uh, that should be crazy. That should that should be hard. It's not because it show you that this shit not Atlanta. This shit not New York. This shit not L.A. This yeah. shit. None of this shit, not Chicago, niggas is not. And that shit crazy, bro, because for real, bro, we, niggas don't, it don't be at every show, but it, all it takes is that one show for niggas to say, you know what, that's it for everybody. Yeah, so, 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 we was making like, we was making anywhere between five and 1500 a show, and you can throw a show every week, you don't need no job for that. You don't even have to go to work, because you can just live off throwing shows. Yeah. And don't fuck it up for everybody. All right, so now that you like dealing with that problem, like, like what's the next move? How you plan on getting around that? I've been seeing niggas do house shows. Um, I've been seeing niggas do like little private events and shit like that, like booking out spaces, like not spaces that usually do like music shit, but they might book out something else, like just something on Broad Street. I ain't even gonna cap. Like as far as like house parties, house shows, I was never with that shit. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna never throw no house show because, like, even them Red Cup shows, somebody always, I'm liable to shoot anybody looking dumb. Like, I can't even be a part of that. My paranoia is crazy. Like, I can't. So when somebody starts fighting, it's a rap. Like, I don't know who the target is, anybody getting shot. And I don't want to put myself in that type of predicament. I don't even like shit like that. And everybody I roll with, we strap. I don't like shit like that. So, mm. no, nah, I don't play like that. Last time I went to a house show, two girls got to fighting and they decided to taste each other, but we're all in the same house. And then they decided to pepper spray each other, but we're all in the same house. So we all had pepper spray in our eyes. Like, imagine yeah, a house, imagine some space like this, 100 people in here, and this bitch start pepper spraying everybody. Everybody gets Because she feel like, everybody. that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't like house, I don't do no house or nothing. Like, that shit was the dumbest shit ever. I don't play like that. Anything be bad. I am looking at buildings to um I wanna buy an event space, not just for me and for shows, but for like mm-hmm. other people who wanna throw shows too, because like I said, rough up it up for all of us. Mm-hmm. So me and my mother, we're gonna buy like buildings and make some event spaces. Yeah, no, um it's definitely a Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's dope as hell. It's definitely a space for it, you feel me? I mean, that's why I be trying to tell people like bro, Richmond just getting started on this music shit. Like, it's on the come up, but like I said, you know, it ain't really like the brand of Richmond. Or like, mm-hmm. that ain't what the Commonwealth want to promote. It ain't their brand. But still, the music going to come up just because, I mean, music going to do what music do, spread. But um, but with that being said, that don't create opportunities for people like yourself to go ahead and start opening up these different venues and getting these different places. I mean, because once you buy them and they, you own them and it's right. your property. Who gonna tell you that you can't throw a show at like do your do your own thing and have your own people? I mean, as long as you keeping everything under control, even if um something bad happened at one of your events, you can still cover it up and clean it, you know, clean it up and get it back going up the next day. Right. Because that's your choice and you ain't gotta wait on nobody to get you to to say so, the yes right. or no. But nah, that's um that's dope. That's dope. Sure. Y'all y'all looking at anywhere like particular? Like like any like areas? Um, mostly areas that's not necessarily in like big shopping centers but and not ghetto shopping centers Mm -hmm. but like more urban shopping centers Mm -hmm. where if you was to throw a party or a show or whatever you won't get noise complaints and police won't fuck with you but it's just places like that um definitely one in richmond definitely one in henrico i'm not really too fond of um the suburban neighborhoods because i don't even feel like dealing with all of that they might not like it because if that was the case then we would be in venues Oh, uh, you had this one venue I fuck with hard. Oh, um, this right on Broad Street. The Camel? No, not the Camel, not the Camel. The Camel Cool, it was another one. It was like upstairs. Um, yeah. Like over tops and shit, though. Um, I fuck with that joint hard. I don't know, I can't remember the name of it. What, what is that venue called? It's, um... That joint was hard. It's, 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 the room is called the Dark Room, mm. but the venue is the Hoff. The Hoff. That's like, like a... Like a, like a like a gaming bar. Yeah, it's something shit. like that. Something. Yeah. That's yeah, I'm not for that spot. That's, that's my heart. All right, so now, other than throwing like shows and um, doing like venues and shit like that, you manage artists. 
You still doing that? You still doing like I don't artist? consider myself a artist manager anymore mm-hmm. because like, I don't I like with. how people, not people. I don't like how certain people that I worked with did not take me seriously. Mm-hmm. Um, if I tell you to do something, I'm not telling you because I just pulled this out of my ass. I'm telling you because one, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Two, I researched it and I talked to the people that you're trying to talk to. Told me to tell you the shit, so they don't want to listen. And then yeah. I have a problem with grown people feeling like they don't have to listen to me because like we the same age or like I'm not really listening to her. I'm older than her or whatever. But you ain't nobody I ever managed. I was like, let me manage you. Motherfuckers had to beg me to manage them, every single person I ever mm. fucking worked with. So it's like you obviously came to me for a reason. So me helping you is trying to benefit you, trying to elevate you. And then they only, not all of them, because it's like two of them that really be on shit. It's a couple, everybody else, they only listen two, three, four weeks later. Like I'd be like, you know what, you need to do this better. Or you need to change the way you do this because A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I don't think so. I think it's cool. Okay. And then fall back a little bit. And then a month later, you know what? You was right the whole time. Okay, I know. Because, like, I'm not ready to talk for my health. Yeah. So I don't consider myself an artist manager anymore. I consider myself like a consultant. Like, you can just mm-hmm. consult with me with whatever you got going on. And I can consult with you on what I think you should do. But I'm not directly managing nobody yeah, right now. Save yourself, like, the, emotion, the emotional investment. It's like, it was not, it wasn't a waste of time. Because a lot of good shit came out of that. But it was definitely a waste of time as far as, like I said, the timeline. Like, shit could have went way, a lot of things could go way faster for certain people if they just listen. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but then, just playing devil's advocate, you feel me? That's, as an artist, man, you, you always, it's, it's, it's so hard because you're so subjective. You don't, you don't smoke. You don't smoke. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> But yeah, that joint, I don't know. Bro, I'm not fucking with that joint. I'm not fucking with You ain't fucking with it? It's okay. You ain't fucking with that joint. It's okay. It's okay. It ain't got no bite to it. You feel me? It's smooth. Yeah, it is. That yeah. punch. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, yeah. It ain't got no soul. <laughs> no soul. Yeah. All right, man, but, um, yeah, but as an artist, man, it's just always hard to, like, stay true, like, because you want to stay true to yourself, and, but you but you just got to have, you got to take risks, man, and it ain't nothing wrong with, like, listening to people, especially somebody like your manager, I mean, because when you choose a manager, you're choosing, like, somebody that you see as, like, an extension of yourself. You're supposed to be choosing somebody you trust. Yeah, sure. you feel me, like, sure. you know, this is supposed to be, like, your right-hand man. But then, it's, I mean, I, I get it though. Like, if you, there's some things out there that you don't want to do and you don't want to like inform and you don't want, really want to like bend on your ways because then you see, like, you feel like if you trust somebody else, then it's, you, you feel like you let them take advantage of you and then like, you're like, damn, I done fucked up because I done trusted you. You feel me? Like, you know, I just did my way, it would have been all on me. That's fine. Now. But you, but you feel me? I get it. But you, that's what I'm saying. You still gotta have that trust and have that vulnerability with your manager. At the end of the day, bro, like you came to me. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> like you came to me. So if you feel like I'm trying to take advantage of you, or you feel like that I'm trying to change you or the way you do yeah. shit, yeah. you came to me. I ain't never, I ain't never changed nobody like lyrics or nothing like that. I might have told you you could have said something better, or I probably put a song together for you that would probably appeal to an audience better than what the fuck you thought because when you are an artist the way you hear your songs are not the way your songs are heard by other people so you might think something is so sweet but that shit is not and i'm not going to sit right there and tell you like you know what that shit was sweet bro like that's that's the one i'm not that shit is not okay you need to start over (laughs) so out of all the artists you didn't work with who um I ain't trying to, you know, start no conversation. I just want to know who do you think, like, in your honest opinion, who you think got, like, that type of drive and who you can actually see taking, like, to that next step and that next level. Young Apollo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see, yeah, I see you, uh, I see you lean on him a lot. Like, you support him a lot. Like, Young sure. Apollo was the only one that listened. Yeah, I mean... And he's the most the consistent be on, one. To be honest, though, he, he looked like he got, like, that mentality, though. Like, he looked... Like, like he read, like he's he coached you, you feel me? Yeah, you feel me? Like, and you, you gotta, you gotta listen, like I'm saying, like, you, 
you, if somebody with the got knowledge, you got to take that knowledge. You got to listen. And he does one thing that nobody else does. And if they say they do, they not. They don't do it. And he got to show me. He invests in himself. Mm. All the money that he make that he could throw away, he invests in himself mm. first. And then he play with it later. Mm-hmm. But he invests in himself first. Like, he paid for all of his shit. He looks like a rapper. People walking around here looking like they work at Food Line, but you a rapper. I need to know you're a rapper. I uh, need to look at the videos that you watch on TV and was like, you know what? This nigga's a rapper, and I want you to look like that. Like, I don't want you to look like you ready to go check your mail and then tell me that you a rapper. Because the whole point <laughs> is for your audience to be like, I like listening to him. I want to wear what he wear. I want to do what he do. I want to act like that. If you just walking around here regularly, you're not really standing out. I, I like Apollo. I like I like his uh I like his music and mm-hmm. um his flow crazy too. It sure is. And a nigga uh, his wordplay crazy too. With with me when I be watching this shit, it just comes down to the videos. You feel me? I just like the video would be I. Right. Mm-hmm. But other than that, bro, bro, like you said, bro, actually he can he can take it to the next level. I just want to see the videos go up. That's all. That's I mean, but for real, when when it come to Rich Me Dang, it ain't too many crazy videographers here, but the ones that are here, you feel me? They all right. And then most of his videos are shot by his cousin, so he keeps it in his family. He don't really go out to, like, the biggest videographer or the the most, let me get this 4K, let me get all these Mm -hmm. sweet little effects. He does what his cousin can do. Don't don't get, yeah, I understand that. Don't get me wrong, you feel me? It's, um... Always use what resources you have available. You feel me? And like, you ain't gotta like step out and go fuck with. It. You feel me? Some niggas that's way across the country or some shit. You can. There's definitely niggas that like popped off videos that won't that good and that won't yep. nothing to look at. But I'm just saying that's from a from me looking at his him and him doing his thing. I like. I just like to see his videos be better. That's all. That's all. Uh, who else? You said Young Apollo. I just seen him work with a couple of artists now. What was the question about the artist? Just, just who you think uh, can go to that next level, or who you feel like got that uh, that type of drive. Mm. Nigga said, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "Nigga said, mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Aiden, Aiden, no, no, for real, Aiden, um." Sh- she she not wrong though. She not wrong. I done seen her work with a lot of artists and consistently. Now Apollo he, The rest of them are consistently inconsistent. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm I'm right there with him. I, hey, it's hard to stay consistent though, for sure. It, it is, but it's hard to, but, but but that's what you want to do. That's what you want to yeah. do though. Dude. That's what you dead as. You that's what you want to do. You gotta stay consistent. Ain't nobody sure. like make you rap. That's what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. That's a hundred percent, right? People, be, people let life get in the way. People let life get in the way for sure. And then you just gotta something you gotta overcome. But uh, how old Apollo? I think he's younger than me. I know he's younger than me, and mm-hmm. I'm ready to be twenty four. So oh, yeah. he's somewhere around. Got some young bucks, but you a young buck. We, mm-hmm. we some old heads. I'm low, yup. Yeah, we old. Ninety seven. Ooh. All right, now. Damn, two thousand baby. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> Generation Z. That's crazy. Look at you two. What? When you was born? Ninety six. Oh, I got cool. Look at y'all. <laughs> Motherfucking um, shit. But damn, questions slipped out my mind. Uh, we, what we talk about Apollo. Um, other than like consulting, what else you doing? Any projects coming up? I have. A lingerie and sleepwear line that I'm trying to launch. Then I got a clothing boutique that I'm launching. I am, I consider myself a fairy god sister because I do crystal healing and chakra tests. And I talk to spirit guides and ancestors for people. Uh, yes, big voodoo. Yes, talk uh, about it. <laughs> and I make crystal necklaces and I sell them. And I make gemstone necklaces and sell them and bracelets. Mm-hmm. Gemstone and crystal bracelets. And I enchant them and then I sell them. How you, what, elaborate on enchanting, please. Please. I cleanse it to make sure there's no negative energy in there and I charge it? it so that positive energy can... How you charge it? Yeah, what you With sage oh. and rose water in the moonlight. You want to put that on the sun? 
No. The sun not good? The moon charges the crystals and the So what does the sun do? The sun just gives you vitamins. No, the sun <laughs> is like grounded for real, for real, y'all. Okay. Like the sun is a star. It's like the major star and God is stars, sun, moon, earth, you know, that's the real God. <laughs> Sorry guys. And so like if you were to ever want you want to pray for pray to the sun. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. And change the moon. Sorry guys. Sorry for the Christians. The, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm not religious at all. So. Good, don't do that. Cause as black people we should never be religious. Nah, I ain't very religious. Either. That's not what they was doing be before cool. they beat our ass. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, oh, who wrote the Bible? Okay, like, what? okay. Because the Bible was written hella times. I didn't know. DJ, with the products I said. Yes, oh, oh, I don't know which one. Mm -hmm. But one of them was black. Mm -hmm. Um, shit. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. One of them was dead ass black. black. But they don't want you to know. They don't want us to know. I'm, here. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Anybody got any other questions? Miss Kendrick. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. this is like real fun, y'all. I never did this before. Oh, hey, for, you know, for real. Mm -hmm. That's I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of why we uh. That's like part of the reason why we wanted to do this job. We just want to give people like that that experience. Because I mean, I know a lot of people don't be like I said, bro. I don't know why the media is so ass, but the media ass. It really is. That's <laughs> crazy. It's I don't job. know what be going on, but and we be having the most shit happen. Yeah, shit crazy. Shit crazy, but um, we be having lit ass rappers get on, mm -hmm. don't, but they ain't got no media behind them, you know, so they don't get no support. Just, uh, imagine ain't no media had, behind. had on like Boosie or somebody after they got robbed or something. Mm. What, like, what really happened, bro? Why they take your chain? Hey, bro, and yeah, we been having a few people. Yeah. We had Oko Funny on this show. Now he on Julio Fulio page. Yeah. So man, that that, that joint was great through moment for me. I was like, this, yes. <laughs> yeah, so I was like this nigga been happy, doing it. Happy to see shit. Yeah, I was like, bro, this nigga been doing it for a year. But um, you probably gonna have that same moment when uh, Apollo get his dudes for real. You like that? About time. You gotta get yes. so open to dates, like when you go on like, your website stuff. Everything is on through Instagram. Oh, right. so just DM you. I don't want a physical boutique, but um, the page is. On Instagram is at persuasion lingerie underscore sleepwear. The website and everything is up for that already. And then the other page, it just launched like a couple of days ago. That one is for body only, and then body is spelled B A W Y. And the yeah. website is up already for that too. Damn, I'm trying to think of some more questions. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't had no questions. I was just going up a lot. I'm still rolling up. Yeah. Every time, oh, <laughs> like every time, oh, <laughs> every yeah. time. Um, what do you suggest for our upcoming artists? Facts. Look at you, man. Um, Look at you, man. I suggest that. Look at that. If you ain't been rapping since you can start writing, don't rap. Don't even waste your time doing it because it's not in you. It's just something that you want to do. It's not in you to do it though. That's not your calling. That ain't your journey. The people who have a call in the rap, they're rapping since they go up. There's a lot of them that don't make it out of me. Yeah, it might mean there's a lot of artists that don't make it out of me. If you ready to start rapping and you like already in your 20s and your 30s, and it's not a certain age for you to start rapping at all. But like, <laughs> I know people who just started rapping, like literally just started dropping songs at their big ass age. like. Like you 20 and you just dropped your first song and I'm not ready to take you serious as no artist because you're not that. You just having fun. So and your friend got a studio. <laughs> so how long would they have to rest for you to take them serious? Consistent. Taking advantage of that opportunity. And, oh, it's no number, it's just... Before, like as long as you can remember. Oh, like oh, not, if, oh, you, oh. if you have a certain date where you just started rapping, mm -hmm. like if I be like, when you start rapping, if you can fucking tell me the date, then you ain't been rapping long enough. I, I, like, I like what... Uh, I like what you said, but uh, you piggyback off that job. <laughs> Niggas dead ass do just be taking a Yeah, opportunity. Yeah. What are they called? Opportunities? Yeah, I'm like, oh, this nigga got Hey, bro, let me try and make a song. Bro, you know how many yeah. times I hear that, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro, dude, that's, I remember you used to tell me. Just because they in the room with you. Yeah, just because they in the room with you. Let me see what I can do. 
Mm-mm, no, I ain't trying to do that. Uh-uh. And then it's, don't let nigga see you mix. Don't let them see you mix. They're like, oh, this nigga mix too? Oh, yeah, we definitely gonna make a song. <laughs> we definitely, yeah, facts. And then they see the beat machine beside you. Trip. Hey, you can make me a beat too, bro. Let's make a beat too. Bro, you wanna make a beat? You want me mix? And you wanna do us? Bro, you gotta pay me now. I'm like, bro, you dead ass. We in this bitch working now. What they think it looking like? Like, this shit, huh? What they think it looking like? All three. Bro, I don't even know. That's gonna be like four. Four fifty? Four. Four, 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 I do all three. I do four, all three. Yeah. Yeah, I do, I, do, I do all three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I do, but I do all three for four, no cap. I'm not gonna do it out for like an hour. Like an hour. It ain't gonna be crazy. <laughs> it ain't gonna be crazy, but it's gonna be. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna work with it. Four hundred sound crazy. Yeah, that one sound. You want to beat two? These are gonna throw the sample on real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. Um. You working with any like producers? Producers? I mean, no. Mm-hmm. Nope. Any models? I know producers. I don't work producers. Any models? Models. Define model. Because, you know, we living in the age of Instagram. When you a model, I'm a model, they models. <laughs> What's a model? No, 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 no. Just model, just model generally. <laughs> generally. Um, I know people that take pretty pictures. Alright. Alright. That's fair. You do anything we don't know about? Because you told us about the venue. You told us that you, you know, you're trying to get your shows back up and going. And for, I, for that's what I really want to see. That'd be hard. Like, I think that'd be crazy. Be I have a show planned. I just don't know where I'm going to throw it at. No, I'm talking about like when you get like side getting like your own venues and shit. That'd be insane. Mm-hmm. That'd be insane. That'd For be sure. Um, <clears throat> you can talk to like any like artists. They working on music. They got projects coming out. I mean, shit, they about. all working on music and got projects coming out. <laughs> they all working on. You ask them. I'm in the studio every day, Kendra. I got this this ready to drop. It's been ready to drop. I done had a baby and everything, it still ain't dry. How we? <laughs> they all working on music. They working yeah. on music every day. Something gonna drop every hour. Project coming on the way. Procrastinate. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm In the studio, you. every day. Doing Shit crazy, like, but you gonna be a rapper for sure. Yep. You, you, you got that tough love. Yes, I just don't be understanding. Like, how do you expect a label to take mm-hmm. you serious if you don't take yourself serious? Mm-hmm. How do you expect a label to advance you all these millions of dollars if you can't even put a hundred dollars into your damn self? It don't make sense to me. But you can spend two hundred fifty dollars every week on weed, but you can't even smoke yourself into somebody's fucking studio to drop a fucking song. Yeah, man, that's why I went and bought my own studio. <sighs> I mean, even I know how to engineer. Yeah. That shit ain't nothing for real, for real. If you're just trying to put something out, I ain't saying it got to be the best thing, but you ain't dropping nothing. Then you go to your page, and all we see is one of your hoes today, whatever move you made, what you ate last week. You don't see no real videos. Burn you don't sheet. see no Burn real light. studio time. <laughs> you see tennis shoes and shit. Nigga, you don't even rock that shit. Like, you, like what's up? You don't be putting that shit on. Like, what, why are you... Rap for what? Just leave it alone. Like, let it go. Yeah, man, it be like that sometimes. Y'all gonna be rapping until y'all in y'all damn 40s and 50s. Like, that's how I look at them. And and I'm talking about the people that I fucking work with. Yes, yeah, fight me. Oh. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm weak. rap until y'all fucking 40 and 50. Nah, because but, y'all on y'all ass. Nah, I mean, I get it, though. It's, it's not even to be mean. It's almost just a wake-up cause. Yeah. It's like, a, that, put that battery in your back. Because, I mean, she, I mean, she not mine. I ain't say nothing wrong, so. I mean, so, like, you can't watch this joint and, like, <laughs> get, get mad. The only person you can get mad at is yourself. Pretty sure, she wants, her. pretty sure she wants them to do good, too. She managing y'all. Yeah, and that, that's, is that what make it frustrating? Because you, you look at people that you want to see do good. It's frustrating because I have known majority of the people that I work with since high school. 
that's that's number one. I've worked with them since some of them since high school, known them, known them since high school. Since fourteen, I was like, you know what? When we all get older, you know, get our own shit together, I'm gonna be a manager. Like I'm gonna manage music. And then motherfuckers like, you know what? I raps like you can manage us. Da da da. That's how it started. Then years go by, we doing good shit. People see us doing good shit. Now everybody in my DMs like, came to my manager, came to my manager. I'm like, yeah. So at one point, I'm managing like 12, 13 people, which is way too much to be managing, but we in Richmond, Virginia. We ain't really on shit. So I'm doing that. It's frustrating because that was my goal. Like, I was in school. Like, I have a semester left in school for a literal management degree. Like, that's all I want to do. I don't want to do shit else, but work for myself and manage other people. So, if you come to me like you serious about some shit, then I get serious with you and waste my goddamn time for years and you still doing the same shit you was doing when I met you. That's what's frustrating. It's not even frustrating to me, like, that you ain't signed yet. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit because I don't like when people get signed no way. All they gonna do is dick you. Like, I don't even want to do none of that. It's the fact that you could be independent and have all this celebrity money and have all this celebrity fame if you just be consistent and if you just promote right if you just put out shit right i printed out packets for these people i talked to and i talked to labels i sent them correspondence i set up fucking meetings like i did so much for so many people and they still my song ready to drop next tuesday no the fuck is not <laughs> they're not keeping it up. Like, your third song in three years. Sit the fuck down. That's what's frustrating. It's like, y'all, they want, so if you, if a lady was to call certain people right now and be like, we're going to sign you. Motherfuckers going to be hyped as a bitch. Like, yeah, I'm going to get this advance. Da, da, da. They're going to drop your ass next week because you ain't going to do shit. They're going to pull that big out they've been working on for the last three years. You ain't going to do shit. They're going to tell you going to the studio, you're going to record 150 fucking songs, they're going to all sound the same. And you ain't going to do shit. You ain't going to be like, let me go get this videographer, let me put this outfit on, let me go out into the streets and find a fucking audience. The problem is y'all rapping to y'all friends who rap. Your friends is your fans, and they are also rappers. What the fuck? How does that even work? And then you want to be on my show, and you trying to figure out why certain people come in there with 50, 60 fans, got the shit lit, and then it's your turn to perform, ain't nobody there. That's your fault. That's your fault nobody wanted to watch you rap. You don't fucking know nobody. You got 4,000, 5,000 followers, but you can't even bring four or five people to a damn show. What'd that say about you? Stupidy? Like... Yeah, stupidy. <laughs> that's your fucking fault. Like, how all your fans is your friends that rap? Then who the fuck is the fan? Your friend ready to stream your shit and buy it? Your friend will put money in your pocket and hope that you put money in his pocket? So where the fuck is the money really coming from? They slow. Yeah, they slow. Yeah, y'all slow. Damn, man. And again, I'm talking about the people that I work and have worked with. Fight me. Gonna fight me. I'm weak. <laughs> uh. Damn, man. I want to. I kind of want to get Young Apollo up here now. You should. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think we gonna we gonna we gonna do that. We gonna look into that. Sure. Everybody that I talk to be like Young Apollo, the only one actually doing shit yeah. because he is. Y'all niggas heard of Young Apollo? Don't lie to me. No. I heard the name, I ain't heard the music. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'll check him out though. I don't, I don't mind checking him out. Yeah, go listen to him. Where be spinning? Where be spinning? I would say I'm about my music. If I, if I had to pick somebody to remind me of, probably like, like he'd probably be in like the little, little dirt playlist. Like on Pandora. Probably somewhere around there. Where be spinning though? Where be spinning? So is it like drill? No, 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 no. He's diverse. He can sing his ass yeah, off. Yeah. So he's a beautiful singer. Yeah, when and I say drill, that just meant like. He can rap very time. well. So he can make drill music. He has made drill music. Yeah, then he has made every singing music. Then he, okay. has, like music. Then he yeah. has made like regular rap songs. Yeah. Oh, or just, yeah, that's why I went by dirt. He just got like. Does he have like a, a specific way where he, he aimed mostly or is it just. 
all of it together. Mm. It's more like almost as if he had an alter ego without having an alter ego. Like he might drop a project of him just singing, and then he might drop something of him rapping. That's dope. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. got you. I get you into that. I didn't know if it was like a, a mix of everything on the album, or is it just like one jump, like type of genre on, on the album? That's dope. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't think I ever checked out like a full project, but I done definitely heard a few of his songs. Yeah. Well, that could be homework. Y'all should do that. Check out Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. I mean, but it's is when I look at like the people you work with, though, they they definitely you you working with some solid people. Yeah, I know. Like as far as like artistry and being able to rap. And talent wise, definitely some talent. They got people. beautiful ass talent, and I would yeah. never take that from none of them. Yeah, they are all perfect at like rapping and making songs. They are ass at being an artist. <laughs> yeah, I get that. <laughs> I get that. Sure. Um, I ain't gonna lie. That might be. That might be. Got anything else, Kendra? What do we follow you? Though? What's the name of the page? <laughs> Self Image Entertainment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was management, but we don't manage nobody. We uh, consult. We consult. Bad. I. Well. Y'all good? Yeah. You ain't got no more topics? No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Uh, one thing I had was Krispy Kreme drop a new donut. <laughs> that been crazy. You know what? Ladies donut? That's diabetes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It like, is though, cause look, it's mixed with Oreos. Oh like a collab. That's disgusting. You get two choices. Krispy Kreme put no burger on no donut. No, they did. It's actually people good. was buying like making <laughs> like donuts. <laughs> don't you, don't you smack the Krispy Kreme? Like, Can I be as well? I'm just saying. Yo, she that's not good. It is. The burger and donut. Yo, she yeah. says that's good. nasty. My brother made it. Actually, the burger donut. Yeah. Told you. Exactly. No, no, no. Actually. She ate it. Um, it's a it's a restaurant here that make burger donuts. They call Luther Burgers. They make burger donuts. I told you. I mean donut burgers. Mm-hmm. Dad, you gonna get one waffles? She said waffles. That's nasty. That's some diabetic. That's that's diabetes. Yeah, how do you hold it? Do you cut it, eat it, or do you like pick it up? I don't know. They were like the little mini waffles. Is it gonna slip? I just I just made that as slip. the bread. <laughs> Do you put condiments on it? Like, do you add cheese and ketchup with the donut and shit? You put several <laughs> on, on, on the waffle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to say like a bitch. I would have probably just been bacon and syrup. No bullshit. Cheese on the donut? wouldn't be Cheese donut? I'm not going to put no cheese on the donut. Ketchup on my cheese. I don't want to add anything. A cheese donut? A cheeseburger donut. I like cheese. Nah, she said the waffle donut. I mean, That's what I did. My brother made one with. She said she put mayo oh. and barbecue sauce. Oh. Yeah. You be in the crib, in the crib board like this. The waffle was just the bread part. It was just the bread. It wasn't even I ain't put syrup on it. Hey, chicken and waffles are delicious. Sir. <laughs> Shit, uh, that ain't good, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, sure. You got a basketball team. I'm like you do. No, I'm a Steph and Curry fan. Hey. So whatever team he on, I'm that's my team. Okay. If he switch teams, I switch teams. <laughs> <laughs> I yes, like nigga, I'm hating. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. Don't no, don't worry. They, these niggas, they like that too. Y'all like Steph and Curry? Mm. Y'all don't like Stephen Curry. You like it? You like him? Because who else would you like? You know what I mean? LeBron. What? The 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 Who? Speak on LeBron. Speak on LeBron. He's not better than him. He's going to have to cut something off. And he has a crybaby ass nigga. And he got it. He don't care if he's a baby. He's a baby. He's a baby. Right. He's a great, he got it. Somebody got to follow this bitch ass. He got to follow the closest big ass falling and shit. I got one question for you. Mm-hmm. This is a female perspective. A female perspective about LeBron. Do that matter? It does. Why? Because that means you did lead your team to the final one, and he don't got nothing. 
Where's my boy LeBron? But he beat LeBron yeah, before. Who knew? LeBron beat him too. So they both good. They're, he just not better than stuff, in my opinion. I feel like Stephen Curry goes to play basketball and LeBron James goes to get fouled and cry about it. And, so you don't think and look at the him? refs crazy. No, they don't foul his big ass. This man is big. He is not no little bitty bitch. Like, he is a big man. There's no reason for you to be crying and falling across the goddamn court. Like, no. If you hit me, regardless if you hit me I'm, on my, my head. This man is soft. This man has you full. This man has you has you I'm, been It's a foul. I'm going to look. I'm, I'm going I'm to be on LeBron's side. I'm going to tell you why LeBron do that. It's because LeBron know that he big and he know if he can... If he can flop and get that call, then that's just, that's just better for him. I understand. I, I, I completely agree yeah. with you. He definitely knows that, and that's why he does it. Mm-hmm. But just go home. Like, if you got to do all of that, then we got to stop the game so you can do these last foul shots. Let's go home. Like, don't even play. Oh, yeah. So how you like, like I feel like on? we should watch basketball. We shouldn't watch you make a motherfucker hit you. So they ain't really trying to hit you. How you feel about James Harden? I don't have no feelings with him. I like Stephen Curry. I just don't like this nigga LeBron because y'all ride him so goddamn bad. Like but James Harden, I, I agree with that right this. <laughs> I don't have no feelings towards him. The like, way y'all trump for LeBron? That's, that's what crazy. I'm saying. Like anybody out here like Harden, Harden, Harden. Nah, y'all definitely be like Bron, Bron, Bron. Like yeah, that go Jordan, 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 Jordan. Was that that what niggas was singing? Jordan's just the best player of all time. Uh, and now he's LeBron. I don't think so. I don't think so. He's six eight, two six. Hey, put him like this. <laughs> hey, Dev. Dev, we not. Dev, Dev, no, 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 no. We not gonna turn it into an argument. Put it like this: more people in the world consider Jordan. I don't agree. Oh, what you mean? Where you from? I'm from here. I'm from here. Damn. Damn. I'm yeah, from here too. I don't know you too many people that be talking like that. <laughs> 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 talking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, bro, weird one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. What happened? That's what Will said. Will up there talking. This man, he had the dough lock. <laughs> she she does sound like she got some sense. Fuck LeBron. <laughs> 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 that man had the dough lock. <laughs> You feel me? It's, it's, I mean, it's yeah. bias. There's a lot of bias. Nah, fuck that. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> she says, nah, fuck that. <laughs> it's, a, it's definitely a problem. Like, y'all, like, why are y'all doing that? Yeah, four rings. He is that nigga. How many rings do you have? Like, why are I'm y'all weak. riding him so yeah, bad? How many rings like, do you have? Like, y'all are riding him so <laughs> bad as if, like, his rings, y'all rings. He what is that bad? <laughs> like, y'all really be on, bro. Like, but you know LeBron slander will be talking about That's the fuck it will be. Like, who are y'all? Hey, that's how I be feeling. But you have yet to say how Steph's better. He, he doesn't does have more rings. He, does he doesn't player. have more wins. He's a better player to me. Mm. How? He's definitely oh, a better player to me. Hey, man, it's Steph Curry, bro. You can't. Steph Curry a favorite player, bro. I ain't, saying, I ain't trying to change your favorite player. I'm just saying he's not the best player. Bruh, see, you know what's crazy, bruh, that's, that's hella hard, that's hella hard, bruh, people definitely think Steph Curry is the best, I mean, he changed the NBA. I'm just saying, when y'all say, when y'all say Jordan been good, y'all talking about him, he's six MVPs, 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 y'all talking she said, "Let's talk about money." One through all of them. Just say, generational. If LeBron is like the best player ever or whatever, why is he not the highest paid player? Like they don't even pay him to be the best player. Sheesh. I mean, I mean, Tom Brady the best quarterback, but he definitely wasn't always the highest paid. I don't even like him. Money. I don't even like it. What money you got to say to that? To win it. My nigga, what I'm my nigga, my nigga try to switch, switch sports. Hey, man. Money that doesn't works. substitute. That <laughs> works. That's all I'm saying. Hey, that works when you switch sports, man. That yeah. works. Oh, my God. I ain't a big fan of LeBron either. Mm-hmm. He cool, though. That ain't my fan. I'm a mellow fan. Okay. I'm a Phoenix fan. 
The Phoenix Suns. See, I know a little song. No, that's a little song. That's all you need to know. They purple, right? They purple. And they like yellow and shit, kind of because of the sun, maybe kind of. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, look, I like it. I like it. I like it. Number two in the West. <laughs> they are they really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, right, y'all. This been another episode of Count Biz. I appreciate y'all tapping in for uh, with us every week. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe, and don't forget, count up.